Today I'm attempting to travel to two games of AFL in one day. Before we do head off to the big Dreamtime game, we kick things off by driving to Ballarat to watch the doggies clash the crows. It doesn't really mean that I'm into you at all. I just came to say hello. Hello. Alrighty, we're currently here at the first of two games at Ballarat between the doggies and the crows. I haven't been to Ballarat for an AFL game before. I have been here for a pre-season game a couple years ago or three years ago, but uh, not for a an AFL game, so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice atmosphere and GA behind the goals, hopefully staying a few footies. Uh, I've gone the dogs in this game, I reckon the home ground advantage, they'll get over the line. Got here a little bit late, what about you, who's winning? Who do you tip? Uh, Adelaide. Adelaide, yeah. yeah, so it's a bit split, I reckon it's going to be a good game. There we go. I don't even know where that's gone, I thought we hit the scoreboard or something. After the Crows nailed the first goal of the game, the Dogs went bang, 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 kicking the next four to take complete control of the first quarter. Massive start for Bulldogs and they get another one, that's four in a row. The Dogs have scored four in a row now here in Ballarat and the people are starting to get their hoodies on because the rain's starting to little, pick up a little bit. I don't think it's going to be too heavy but luckily we got ourselves a rain jacket so it shouldn't be too bad. I just realised my big caller's on here, I said four goals in a row, the Dogs well, sorry, five. They're on four, and Liber to make it five. He shouldn't miss this. And he... F oh! If that goes on and costs me, I'll be really pissed off. How do you miss it from there? 20 metres out, mate. With only needing one more dog's goal in a row, the dogs couldn't kick a goal to save their lives, and let me tell you what, I was not happy. Artie! Artie Jones! Oh, Gonna nail one of these eventually. And that's another point. 4 10 for their second, first of the quarter. Well, that's annoying. That's just ended my chance of getting this big call right for this week. For this game, I should say. 20 points in this one, probably around a minute to go on this second quarter. Eugle Hagen, probably to make it a deserving 26 point lead, but behind him, and he's fucked it. But behind him, on the siren, and that just sums it up for the dogs. It really does. Should be up by plenty more. Alright, half time here at Mars. I'm here with brother Blake. I'll tell you what, the dogs should be in front by a bit more, don't you agree? I reckon about 40 points, probably some of the worst kicking, but I mean, you do have to give a little bit of credit. It is a bit wet, a bit windy. Yeah, terrible conditions. I thought they'd get a little bit better. They haven't really. And we might be missing the start of the third because i got to get a spare camera battery from the car. Yeah, oh yeah de definitely the dogs should be up by a bit more. But, mate, hopefully get a bit of a contest out of this game. I waste the next 15 minutes trying to grab a spare camera battery out of the car that I later realised was in my pocket the whole time. Mate, these conditions, these conditions are Ballarat to a T. What you'd expect from Ballarat, cold, Wet, relatively windy. It was expected to be a low scoring game, which it is so far. I'm gonna miss the first probably five, six minutes of this third quarter. Where the hell did I park? Genuinely spent 15 minutes, wasted the first 15 minutes of this quarter. And it's, it's, it's a shit game, to be honest. The dogs are just way too good. Like seven goals, 16. They should be up by a whole lot more. Scoring to 23 to eight. And they get a goal. Fucking 50 points. <laughs> and that's it for the quarter. One quarter to go. 43 points. Give us uh, a little bit of a take on the game. How it's been it's, Adelaide been? It's been, all, it's been all Bulldogs, really. Pretty much for the whole game. Adelaide, very, very disappointing. I can't actually believe they smashed St Kilda last week. It's actually an indictment on us. Thanks for the insight, Ben. Anyways, the last quarter was just so rubbish and uninteresting that we thought it would be better off tuning into the ending of North v Sydney instead. Across the line it goes! Can you believe that? Sydney in the thriller. At this rate, I kind of wish I was at that game because this game is absolutely shocking. Nothing's happened in this quarter. We've come to the decision after how shit this game has been that next goal, regardless, there's like what, 24 minutes on the clock, we'll just leave, beat the traffic. Let's see what happens here. Come on, dogs. We deserve another one. McRae. Oh. 
Adelaide. That was a siren just there. 45 points the dogs win by. Disappointing game from Adelaide. The dogs probably should have won that one by more. Now it's off to go to the second game at the G. Dream time at the G. What I would do to take away this fear of being lost. With less than three hours till the first bounce, we drove back to head to game two. However, with me being hungry, a KFC stopover had to be made. Unfortunately, it wasted a good 30 minutes and the food was shit. What the fuck? <laughs> the traffic's absolutely woeful here at the city. Game starts at 16. I'm at Flinders Street and there aren't any trains running. So it looks like instead of that, I'm gonna, well, instead of taking the train, I'm going to run to the MCG so I can make it on time. With only like 13 minutes till the first bounce, I literally had to rush and race it to the G to see if I could make the game in time. Finally made it to my bloody seats better, mate. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just. With one minute to spare, I missed the, the pre-game. I got to catch a little bit, it was good stuff, but unfortunately, just running a little bit too late there. Tell you what, the traffic wasn't great. Can't wait though, first drink from the G Clash. This should be a cracking game. I'm gonna go Essendon to win by, oh, I'll 20 points about you, mate. Uh, what Essendon to win, but I'm gonna go Richmond by 13. Yeah. Bit of a repeat here, the Bombers, Wiedemann, two in a row, gets it. Just like that after which have genuinely all the play in the first 12, 13 minutes. The camera comes out and the Bombers go bang, bang. That's good for my big call, it's good for my tip, it's good for the game. It was a pretty good first quarter a bit to be honest with you. The Don started hot with three of the first four goals before the Tigers responded back with a couple of their own to hit the lead. The end of the quarter, pretty entertaining one. It was uh, one where a lot of momentum shifts occurred. The Tigers got the hot start, then Essendon, then Richmond kick another one, then Essendon kick another one, or another two, I should say. Two point margin at quarter time, 25 to 23. Pretty good contest, so far. Oh, Wiedemann. Wiedemann's gonna have three. Wiedemann could have three here early in the second. What a pick up he's been for the bump. I reckon he, I just have a feeling he's gonna slot this through. Got a good angle. Let's have a look. Oh, he's hooked it. Oh, another chance for Wiedemann here. He's been everywhere in this game from the Bombers. Shots galore. Three goals is for him. 50-50, I reckon. So that's a second point. Wiedemann, third chance to get a goal this quarter. He's kicked two points. He's kicked three points. He's kicked three points this quarter. Oh, cheers for the seats, mate. Every time there's a bit of play, the people think that at the greatest time, that the best time to go and bloody walk down is where the play is going on, and we don't even see what's going on. Luckily, we haven't missed much, honestly, this quarter. It's been really, really it average. Been Only one goal, goal one goal in 18 minutes. The rest have been behind. The second term was nothing but mistakes and skill errors galore, until finally there was something to cheer about. This will make a level playing field here at the MCG. Oh, and he's yeah. got the goal. Come on, SM. Let's go. I don't normally barrack for them, but this is one of those games I just want them to win for some reason. Bolton's kicked an absolute classic along the ground. 24 touches and two goals. So it's, uh, it's a good game. I reckon you could win the medal from here. It's a two goal game at the moment for the Tigers. The Bombers now need to get their hands on the footy again. Otherwise, I could honestly see the Tigers running well with it here. Oh, that was so but it is now three quarter time here at the G for the Dreamtime Clash and the Tigers lead it by two goals. They seem to sort of be edging it out at the moment. It's uh, still going to be a close contest, I reckon, and Essendon certainly can get the win. Uh, we're here with Jimbo at three quarter time. Uh, what's up? How's day for me, but um, yeah, yeah it's it's despite the North performance, how's the experience oh, this, this, this game been? Great experience, good, good crowd. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I dream of the G. What about those kids, those kids up there in level four? Jesus Christ, they're, they're quite annoying. But uh, besides that, made it been a good day. I reckon Richmond will win this one. Yeah. yeah. 15 points, I'd say. 
Yeah, you'd think from here Richmond should win it, but I'm still going to back in the Bombers, hopefully, for a big last quarter. The margin then blew out to 18 points, and I thought at that stage the Bombers were almost done. Alrighty, Essendon need this. Even if I was supporting Richmond in this game, I'd want him to kick this because I just want a close game here on Dreamtime. It's a three-goal game here. But I tell you what, Essendon have been pretty rubbish in front of goal after quarter time, only kicking the two since quarter time. But that is a good kick. Oh, swing up. No way. No way. Just like that out the middle, Stringer goes bang from the 50. And it's a six point ball game. It's a six point ball game over all of a sudden. Oh, that is massive in this game. The Tigers are going to get out to a 12 point lead. That should have been rushed through. There we are, it's a goal. Richmond lead by 12. Less than five minutes to go on this game. It looks like it could go down to the wire. However, it is a two-goal margin. Richmond lead it by, so it's going to be tough. It's possible. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, no way. How did they get a goal out of that? They had no right to get a goal out of that. They weren't in the position to get a goal out of that, but they forced something out of it. Menti kicks a second. And around with four minutes to go, it's back to six points. Right, man, so it won't win them the game if he kicks this, but almost seals it, almost seals it. It'll make it 11 points, it'll make things tough. Oh my God, how loud are the boos? Miss it for the game's sake, mate. Oh my Lord. He has missed the lot. Inside 50, Bombers, Draper. Stringer at the back, Stringer! Oh, it's marked! Marked in the goal square, Dylan! He's gonna kick it. Durham! Durham! Bombers lead it by a point. How long, how long is that? Essendon are going to break their streak. 13 losses in a row. I actually don't know how long there is left, but I think seven, I think seven seconds. I think. And it's going out to the way. The sign's going to sound. The sign's going to sound. What a bloody finish to that game. What a finish to the, the day, to be honest with you, after crap day. Dream time of the G certainly lived up to the expectations, and this is the man that Come was Come on pumped. the fucking dot. Mate, how good was that? Mate, unreal. Unfucking real. Uh, say some things to end the video. Uh, subscribe. Uh, I don't know. Bombers uh, got to win the flag. Uh, I don't know what else to say, really. Oh, fuck's you. Uh, Sam <laughs> Durham. Fight. Hey, Sam Durham can have my kid. After oh, oh, Sammy! Sammy! Yeah. Sammy! Yeah. See the bombers fly up, up to win the premiership flag.